Good morning. I have something to show you. Can you see this? Can you see those? Those are, oh, and maybe one right there coming in. Is that acne? <laughs> On a raw food diet? No, um, I actually don't think it's acne, but um, I wanna show you these. This is my skin. And it has appeared as though old blackheads are surfacing and coming out of my skin. Either they're blackheads or rocks, I can't tell. They're dark, they're not pimples, but they end up with these little blemishes, these little marks on my face as they come out. And I want to use this as an example to say that we in the raw food community need to do a better job at representing the reality of raw foods and how long it takes to actually heal the body. Now, if I go to a chat group or a, or a group, yeah, on Facebook and say a raw food group and be like, oh, look, I've got, I've got these coming in and people, you know, without knowing me will say, oh, well, you know, acne is caused by dairy. Okay. And, and, I see this happening so many times to, to newbies in, in the groups. I personally have not eaten meat since 2003. I haven't eaten dairy since 2009. I went raw in 2014. This is the end of 2016 and I've got little dots. Okay? We need to be a little bit more responsible about the way we treat the newbies who are trying to transition and accurately represent this lifestyle in all honesty and transparency just to show this is the reality of what it is to heal on raw foods. I'm still having my skin expel old damage. I still have a long way to go in healing. I'm, I'm, only, I'm over two years in on raw and I'm doing it correctly with the low fat and I, I've got so many more things I have to work on. I still feel like I'm a toddler in this, okay? It's, the body takes, what, seven to 10 years to completely completely replenish all the cells in the body. There, there's so much more work to do. I'm, I'm at the beginning phases. There's a reason why I didn't come out and talk extensively about my journey in a, in a more confident and, and fact-oriented sense before now, over two years in. I didn't know anything. I, I mean, I knew what I knew, that what I saw, and what people would misrepresent, in my opinion, calling my progress and my healing journey a, a miracle that I've cured all these diseases, that I've lost all my weight, and share around my before and after pictures as if that's the end, and that I no longer had any horrible symptoms after going raw. This is deceptive. This is not true. I always want to go back in on those shares and say, no, 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 no. I don't use the word cured. I, in my mind, I won't be cured for a very long time. Sure, maybe one day I might be able to claim that, but I'm, no, I'm nowhere near that. I'm in the beginning phases. And although I have controlled and managed all of my symptoms, I still, I still can't say, and I'm medication free. I don't need it. I, I'm still not going to say and, and make it seem like raw foods is a miracle diet. I mean, it is, but not without a very hard and long road of, of healing and recovery. And this is just an example of, of things like, that, like healing crises or, and symptoms that pop up along the way bumps in the road I have seen so many times newbies and I say newbies in a in a sweet way because I too consider myself a newbie newbies get discouraged when people in the raw food community will make it seem and I'm sure it's unintentional but make it seem as if the people who are trying and transitioning and having these healing crises come up are doing something wrong, that they're not doing 
what they need to be doing properly. And they're very quick to give advice and tell people basically insult their progress, insult their journey by saying that it's their their pain or their issue is not valid, that for whatever reason this shouldn't be happening. And I'm sure I've been guilty of this where I automatically assume, well, if you're having these problems still and you've been raw and you've been doing it properly for all this time, well, maybe that you're doing something wrong. That's incorrect. Transitioning healing takes time. And we need to do a better job of representing the truth of this journey and showing up these little blemishes and showing that it's not always easy. I still have days where I feel not, not my best. I don't have endless unlimited energy, even though it seems that way at times. I will still go through phases where I get tired and I get moody and I get crabby and, and I feel a pain or two, a minor pain. And then it goes away and I'm like, oh, well something popped or something healed there. But in the beginning, that happened a lot more frequently, a lot. And it's so easy to get discouraged and say, well, over here you have people claiming that they, in one to two months, lost 60 pounds and cured like 20 diseases. And they're fine in one to two months. Are you kidding me? And then you have, because people see that, they think, well, I'm just doing something wrong. And I'll get messages all the time from people who are concerned. Well, I'm not seeing those results. What's wrong with me? Nothing's wrong with you. You're normal. It takes time. And most likely, if people are making those claims, it's not entirely honest. I can pretty much assure you that's not true. People don't miraculously overnight drop all their weight and heal all their diseases. It takes time. In many cases, it takes years. Yes, you will start feeling better immediately, most likely, from your diseases. Like in my case, detox, for me, was a lot more fun than being sick. And I say fun in that, that it wasn't as painful and I could still feel myself improving and healing through the horrible symptoms of detox, which was great for me. But I might have accidentally misrepresented that and said, oh yeah, detox, you know, that's nothing. Being sick is worse. Well, yeah, in my case, that was entirely true, but some people are completely blindsided by this and we need to stop minimizing this. We need to stop minimizing other people's pain and suffering during their transition. It is discouraging. They, they quit. They, they think there's something wrong with them, that the lifestyle is somehow making them worse. And my thing is, why not just be honest? Why not say, yeah, this is me right there. That's all me. And that's just part of the journey. And that's okay. That's normal. I am normal. I am okay. I'm still very much succeeding on this journey and doing everything properly and in my power. So I'm going to go now and have what I made this morning, which is a cranberry lemonade beverage, 64 ounces of water blended with one lemon that's peeled and about one to two cups of fresh raw cranberries. And it's super tart, super cleansing. If you need to, you can add some dates to that, but I like it straight up and tart. So I'm gonna go and get my drink on now and continue working all of this grossness out of my skin. Promise, there's no dairy involved. Please, please let's not be like, oh well, dairy causes acne. Yeah, well, stress also causes acne and lack of sleep. And healing crises, old damage, coming up out of the skin causes blemishes too. So let's be reasonable. Let's be honest. Let's be transparent. Let's be encouraging, especially to those newbies who are having a really hard time right now thinking that they are somehow abnormal. We need to uplift them. We need to be honest. And we all need to have a fabulous day.